Whoa, who doesn't remember Aquanid? This stuff is like industrial strength hold. Unfortunately, these long hold, super hold hairsprays, hair gels, they can definitely put a lot of wear and tear on your edges. If you wear your hair pulled back really tight and you use a long hold hairspray or hair gel, it can contribute to breakage of the edges, otherwise known as traction alopecia. I have a collection of hand soaps here. In my last dollar, in my Dollar Tree video, you guys were asking what MI is. MI is a preservative. MI is a preservative, which these hand soaps have. Methyl isothiazolinone. It's a common allergen um, in rinse off products. That's what I was talking about, MI, because it's a mouthful. It just keeps saying methyl isothiazolinone. Um, I'll I'll write it out in the description box. Lucky hand soap with olive oil. This product is not tested on animales. Yeah, this one has this one has MI in it. Not a hazard, but it is a pretty common allergen. People develop problems too. Delio here on hand sanitizer. I was reading a study the other day where you know now that people are really more focused on hand washing and using hand sanitizers now that more than ever as you should be for you know reducing transmission of pathogens anyways uh we have a you know a lot more hand dermatitis dry hands irritin hand dermatitis and the study showed that people who went to bed at night with coconut oil on their hands and then used hand sanitizer throughout the day they had less they had less irritant hand dermatitis from the uh from the hand sanitizer so um if you're dealing with that maybe go to bed with coconut oil on your hands i would actually do that um underneath cotton gloves to really help improve the state of the moisture barrier coconut oil gets a bad rap in a lot of skincare products because it can aggravate acne for some people but i mean when we're talking about putting it on your hands at nighttime to improve the state of the moisture barrier makes perfect sense and it has been shown to be really helpful for people with eczema and a lot of times people with eczema who want something that's like more natural uh, coconut oil is a good option Dove's exfoliating body polish I actually tried one of these um, I don't recommend them they first of all they leave a film in your bathtub and plus any anything that's got these like crushed nuts and asphalt it's gonna it's not good for your skin. I wish companies would stop making those, including Dove, which like ropes people in because of their beauty bar is like very eczema friendly. So people just assume that anything Dove puts out is gonna be like sensitive skin friendly. Looks like we have a collection of body washes here. I wish we could see what uh, is in sensitive skin. Uh, studio selection sensitive skin. I'm guessing if it's like the Dove sensitive skin body wash. It's actually pretty good. That would be a good option to get here. Oh, it's not a dollar. It's five dollars. Dude, they have the actual Nivea nourishing body wash. This is pretty decent. Remember the Dollar Tree had like their version of it? Was it Bolero? No. Um, can't quite remember. Ooh, they've got men. Dove's men and care. Micro moisture body and face wash they're always going after men with these like all-in-one formulas <laughs> they never market products like that to women body and face wash sodium lauryl sulfate it's hard to tell just by looking at ingredients if a cleanser is going to be good overall but um you know it kind of depends on the ph too got some more hand soaps here this is a place to get you Dove hand soap. Oh wow, they've got, I love this hand soap. I actually have it in my bathroom right now. It's pretty good. Um, it's very, it's pretty moisturizing. Ooh, we have a suave hand sanitizer here. This looks like a good one. It's got ethyl alcohol in it, not benzalkonium, which a lot of the alcohol-free hand sanitizers have. Here we have a spray with glycerin and water. Oh, what else? Oh, look! There, look what we have. CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. I don't, is that a good deal? Six dollars for that little thing? Whoa. This is a good cleanser, by the way. It's like one of my favorites. Oh, and the Neutrogena Ultra Gentle Daily Cleanser. <gasps> the Neutrogena Rapid Wrinkle Repair is here too. Wow. Okay, this is like a lot better than the Dollar Tree. Thank you, whoever it was that requested I come here because you're right, they have a better selection. Although that's the one that has fragrance in it, but this is a very good retinol. 
ten dollars that seems steep though I mean I don't I don't know that I, I feel as though Walmart you would get a better deal don't quote me on that I haven't comparison shopped we also have Cetaphil what is with Gen Z despising Cetaphil I mean their um, moisturizing cream is one of my favorites I use this on my same thing with the CeraVe cream. It's very good. They recently swapped out the macadamia seed oil, I think it is, for sunflower seed oil. But it's very good. Um, you can use it on the face of the body. This is a nice little handy trial size to test it out. Take it for a test run. Here's their gentle skin cleanser. Oh, a dupe of it in the studio selection. This must be the uh, Dollar General brand. I always had the gentle one, the, the creamier formulation. I always found was not particularly effective at removing like mascara and makeup and stuff. The the non-creamy one, the one that has fragrance in it, is actually very good. I've always used that. Um, I used that a lot in college. Ooh, what is this? Oh, of course we've got a vitamin C serum here. The Clinical Brightening Facial Serum Anti-Aging. Oh, this has tea tree leaf oil in it. Tea tree leaf oil may be helpful for seborrheic dermatitis, acne, dandruff, but unfortunately people can easily become allergic to it. It's not a pure substance, it's like a mixed bag of different compounds, and it's susceptible to degradation, especially on exposure to light. What is the form of vitamin C in this? Oh, ascorbic acid. Ascorbic acid is not very stable. It oxidizes and degrades pretty easily. Uh, otherwise, uh, yeah, the tea tree leaf oil, see that? That's going to have compounds in it that are likely going to degrade the vitamin C and make it more irritating. Anyways, this has beta-glucan. That's a good humectant. It also has sodium hyaluronate. I bet if you don't have irritation to some of these ingredients I pointed out, I bet you would find that this is actually pretty good for improving hydration. Um, it doesn't appear to have fragrance aside from the tea tree leaf oil. What is the Lift and Firm facial serum? Are we in focus? There we go. The Lift and Firm with collagen and ceramides. All right, hydrolyzed collagen and skincare products. It can't actually penetrate your skin, but it acts as a humectant to improve moisture content in skin. This looks really good, actually because not only does it have collagen and ceramides, which are good for the skin barrier, it also has centella, which is helpful for healing and may improve skin elasticity. Wow. Dollar General is definitely stepping up. Oh, we've got a retinol, a $7 retinol. How does it stack up to the Dollar Tree's $1 retinol? This is failing because it's got the tea tree leaf oil in it, which is you know going to get in the way of your retinol journey and success. So go back to the Dollar Tree for your retinol. So far, that Dollar Tree retinol serum is winning. And many of you guys have chimed in in the comments of that video how much you love that Dollar Tree retinol serum. So I'm glad to hear that it's working out for you all. Ooh, now I have not really seen a Palmer's fragrance-free product, but here we have a hand cream. Speaking of hand dermatitis from all the hand washing, this looks like a win. How much are they charging for this? Mm, they're not disclosing the price. Oh, here we go. Three dollars. Mm, wow. Oh, they have my favorite, the Norwegian formula, four dollars. I feel as if that's a pretty good price. Four dollars, three dollars. Hmm. And then they have the Studio Selection Dupe for Acne More. This is a product that some people are just, you know, it's like their holy grail aquaphor. And it has my favorite ingredient, petrolatum. I mean, it's a petrolatum based ointment. This is something you could use to do like the slugging method. If you're wondering what that is, I'll link a video of mine down below that talks about it. But anyways, this, um, the one issue with this is that people can develop an allergy to the lanolin alcohol. And there's some other, I think the Bisabol too, a lot of people develop an allergy too. So it's not really hypoallergenic. The true hypoallergenic one would be the, uh, the just plain Vaseline petrolatum. Look who's hiding amongst the faux flowers. Ugh, my favorite. 100% petroleum jelly. This is great for reducing, this is great for reducing chafing. It's great for your lips. Put it on your eyelids for dry eyes. 
Uh, you can put it all over your face, but again, check out my video on using Vaseline to the face. You don't have to use name brand Vaseline. This is going to work just fine. Neighboring hands compared to O'Keeffe's working hands. This is another fragrance-free moisturizer for the hands. I'm telling you, dry hand care needs, this is where you need to come. Deals upon deals upon deals. Oh my god, we're back again. Brothers, sisters, everyone join in. This is seriously one of my favorite body moisturizers. Too bad they don't have the fragrance-free version. It's the Hydro Boost Body Gel Cream. Very good. Good. Oh, they have the Eucerin Eczema Relief Body Cream. Um, five and seven. All of these Eucerin products are really good. This one that's hiding back here that you can't see has, I think this is the one with ceramides, that teal blue that I'm seeing. Um, but uh, they're both very good. They're, all of these are very good. Lubriderm. Not sure what's in that. I think sometimes the Lubriderm products do have added fragrance, and the lotions are a lot more lightweight um, as opposed to as opposed to a cream. By the way, if you're ever wondering what the difference between lotion and cream is, lotion tends to be a lot more lightweight, less occlusive. Um, oh, speaking of lotions that I love, this 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 is so good. I've used this success I've used this successfully on my face. But oh this is one with lavender extract, which is fragrance. Admittedly very relaxing fragrance, so I get why they put it in. Avino has a lavender body lotion that is uh actually very nice. Oh no, it's a lavender body wash I'm thinking of. The soothing hydration one does have fragrance as well so stick to this one this is like seriously a very good product i highly recommend hand sanitizer lotion did i see this in walmart recently yeah this has benzalkonium for hand sanitizing and this has fragrance in it so i would just skip that it's not like the best thing out there where was i recently that had these refresh my drink oh target four dollars and fifty cents these scented Jurgens Delios. Oh, Avino's Daily Moisturizing Lotion is here. Dang. This place is is a gold mine. Mm, melatonin applied to the skin is an antioxidant. There's some thought that it may have some anti-aging properties. This definitely has fragrance in it. I bet that is relaxing though. And then we have the Dr. Teal's Body Lotion. What is in this? fragrance. Otherwise this looks like it'd be pretty moisturizing. It's got sunflower oil, which is an emollient, and it's got, um, did I see shea? Oh, cocoa butter, cocoa seed butter. That's always a good occlusive for reducing water loss on the skin. All right, I saw this earlier, but got distracted. This is the Refreshing Body Balm Jelly Stick by Vaseline. It's too bad this one has fragrance and it's not just 100% petrolatum. Otherwise, this is a good product. I think Vaseline makes a product like this that is free of fragrance. Um, these are good for reducing chafing. That is another advantage of Vaseline or petrolatum is uh, for like in the skin folds where you have a lot of chafing. You could use Aquaphor in that way though. What is this? The jelly oil. I've used this. I remember using this in like high school for shaving my legs, I think. And it would mess up my razor, but it's basically mineral oil and fragrance and shea butter. Um, if I remember correctly, it was pretty good as a moisturizer. All right, you guys know the deal with vitamin E oil. People are enamored with it, but it's actually been shown to worsen the appearance of a scar. If you are using retinol, or if you are on Accutane, be very careful about waxing, especially on Accutane. Because the skin barrier is pretty vulnerable and you can develop erosions basically sores because it just pulls away you don't have enough of the dead layer anymore to kind of protect you from the act of waxing all right let's come back over here y'all know how i feel about the freeman mask clay is good for absorbing excess oiliness um, it can just pull out some uh, oil from not only the surface of the skin, but from within the pore. So it's good for people with oily skin. Unfortunately, the Freeman's ones, they like the peel off thing. They can be pretty irritating because many of them do have like fragrance. 
The clay mask I recommend is that Cetaphil oil control, I think it's called, clay mask. Highly recommend that, it's very good. I don't know what is in these L'Oreal Day Night, Day Night Wrinkle Experts. Uh, cause they're oh wait, we can kind of peek in here. They do have fragrance. Otherwise, I don't think they have anything that like necessitates the $10 price point in here. I mean, um, I think they're just a moisturizer. You could actually just use my friend Vaseline here. The $3.50 option is where you want to go. And this is not authentic black soap. Yeah, so this one's misleading. It's not actual African black soap. Um, African black soap is like ashes of agro waste and um, various plant oils and emollients. And it kind of has like, um, like you kind of have to break it off into your hands. I've never actually used re real legitimate African black soap. While there's not a lot of data for African black soap, it is otherwise a fine thing to use. I mean, there's nothing wrong with black soap. And people observe anecdotally a lot of benefit from it. And honestly, as long as things don't don't harm you and there's not like reports of harm, I'm all for it. If it especially if you feel it's beneficial and it's like within your budget, of course, don't be blowing coin on things that don't work and are too expensive. All right, here's the deal with Noxema. Fun fact, it was originally meant for people with eczema because it stands for Noxexema, <laughs> like knocks it out. And um, like, I think it has menthol in it. Yeah, menthol kind of gives a tingling effect, which helps to distract those little itch nerves. Menthol is what's in the active, yeah, menthol is what is in Sarna anti-itch lotion, if you've ever used that. But I prefer Promoxin for itch relief. Oh, look, it's the magic shave powder. I have a video on this, by the way. <laughs> Be careful. I think I'm gonna wrap it up here, you guys. I had a lot of great skincare products. Thank you to whoever it was that suggested I come here. Um, did not disappoint. If you missed my last Dollar Tree Shop With Me video, it's gonna be on the next slide for you to watch if you want to. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye.